What's up people, I am back. I've sort of not been uploading for one or two days or so, just taking a little bit of a break because this holiday season, although it's not really holiday yet, there's still one more week or half a week or so until the holidays officially start I guess. But it's gonna be quite a busy one because there are quite a few visual novels coming up and one of which is what the one that I'm going to play right now which is called Was or W-A-S The Hourglass of Lepidoptera. I think I pronounced that correctly or it's pretty close to correctly, I hope. But yeah, uh, this particular visual novel is sort of, uh, it's a dystopian one set in a post-war Japan era. And yeah, I guess that's all the information we sort of require to get into this um, universe of the game. So yeah, I'm hoping for this one to be amazing and pretty dang good that I can play for quite a while. And I hope you guys will enjoy this one as well. It looked pretty amazing from what I've seen so far, but obviously we won't know until we play through it a little bit further. Which is what we're going to do very soon, but first I want to mention two more things, which is the upcoming visual novels, which one of which is actually How to Fool Boyfriend Holiday Star, although I've tried playing the first one on my channel like not too long ago, but there wasn't that much interest in it, which I completely understand because several other or many, many other Let's Players on YouTube have done that one as well, and yeah, so I'm sort of hesitant to play the sequel, the Holiday Star one, before for that reason because I haven't really played entirely through the first one and I'm not sure whether that knowledge is required to actually understand the second one or the sequel fully so I'm sort of hesitant on playing that one although I absolutely liked what I played from the first Hot of Full Boyfriend so I'm kind of letting that choice up to you guys whether you want me to play it or perhaps I'm gonna like upload one video from it and then based on your reaction from that I can sort of gauge whether I should continue that series or not but we'll see when uh, when I'm if I'm gonna do that after this video is uploaded and then the next one is gonna be another visual novel that is coming up on December, December 21st which is Sakura Santa of course I'm gonna be playing that because it's a Sakura game and it's the holidays you know Christmas is the best season for some boobies, so yeah, Sakura Santa is coming up December 21st, mark it down on your calendars because that's gonna be a good one I think, I hope. Anyway, um, yeah, we're currently here now with WAS, their hourglass of Lepidoptera, so let's start this one. A dark, cold, and empty world. In it, a butterfly flies silently and elegantly, wrapping itself with a glowing bluish white dust. A butterfly? Why is it here? I try to reach for the butterfly as if I'm being pulled towards it. <laughs> rub, rub a dub dub. The butterfly was so close. But something soft stopped me. Something very soft, warm, and comfortable to touch. It won't let me reach for the butterfly. The butterfly flies away into the emptiness, as if it was laughing at my vain attempt. Oh god, I already know what the soft, warm, and thingy was. Yep. <laughs> huh? What's this? Warm. And very soft. Rub, 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 rub. Just keep rubbing, dude. Something that fits in my hand. Soft, warm, and well rounded. Hey! Stop! Stop that! Mm. What? A sultry voice wakes up my consciousness in a flash. That's enough! Mm. Get your hand off of. The first thing I see is a girl wearing a nun's habit. She's looking at me with a smile. Huh? I can't say a word. I'm so charmed by her bright blonde hair. Uh, the blonde girl is smiling, but I feel some sort of murderous rage radiating from her. Wait, have I done something really, really bad? Ba dum ba dum ba dum. My heart begins to beat unusually hard. My instincts, not experience, 
Tell me. You're facing certain death. Uh oh. Foo 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 foo. <laughs> Are you done with your prayers? Do you have any last words to say? <laughs> we just, yeah, sure. Just keep rubbing. I don't know if it's because I'm so shaken up, but I try to move my fingers to confirm what I am touching and how it feels. Quite a breast you've got. It's okay to punch you, I think. You've touched the girl's precious part, so I'm sure it's okay, right? The blonde girl keeps smiling, raising her right hand. Hey, w wait! I shut my eyes in apprehension. Rap! A loud noise goes off by my ear. There's no pain. Why? <laughs> Surprised? You tricked me alright. I was scared for nothing. Hey, you don't seem to be reflecting on what you did. In that case, damn, this time she's serious. No, 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 no. Okay, okay. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Ah, uh, well, I know it wasn't on purpose, so I'll forgive you this time, but... If you do it again, you know what's going to happen, right? Okay, I won't ever do that again. Yeah, right. Wait, why am I apologizing like this? I've never done that to anyone, even to my family. Not even once in my life. I, I, I pray to God that he's talking about the apologizing part, not the, you know, touching of the breast part, because that would be weird to, you know, to mention, oh, I've never even done that to my family. What the hell is going on around here? I look around to get a hold of the situation I'm in. Ceiling of a dull color, unfamiliar, western furniture, an uncomfortable bed, and the most important thing, an unknown blonde girl in front of me. With all this, I conclude. Good night! <laughs> Vomp. Okay, good night. Hey! What are you doing? This is a dream, isn't it? My real self should be sleeping in my room, so... Yes, I'm sure that I fell asleep while reading a novel I ordered from Germany yesterday. A German novel? What the hell? I'm so hooked on that novel that I'm having a dream about a scene from it. But I'm not so sure it had a cute blonde girl, I guess. German girls are generally blonde, I guess. I should kind of know considering they're my neighbor country, but then again, I've never really actually been there that often. The musty smell from the sheets is so strangely realistic. Well, whatever. Ah, uh, I've never seen such a laid back boy before. This is not a dream or anything, so get up! Shake, 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 shake that booty. Five more minutes. That's what I say every single morning and then one hour later and I'm late for class. Dun, dun, dun. He's in a deep sleep already. He's so bold to have a quick nap in this situation. Shake, 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 shake. Dang, she just keeps shaking like I'm a milkshake. She shakes me harder, trying to wake me up. <sighs> Quit it. Lack of sleep is bad for the skin. Wow, since when do guys actually care about that? Isn't it that a girl thing or typical girl thing to say? Like, I've never heard a, a guy say like, yeah, I need to sleep. It's good for my skin. And he doesn't wake up. So... I should use the secrets of Winslet's 108 Wakening Techniques, shouldn't I? Wait, skipping to secret techniques already? And there's 108 of them? Jeez, I've got so many questions about that, 108 to be precise. I don't know him well, but it's alright. The girl's slender arms reach around my body. So far, I've had servants try many different methods to wake me up. Let's see how she fares. 
Tickle, tickle, tickle. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Stop! Not there! Ah. Ah. To be fair, I'm quite ticklish as well. Like, I'm really weak to tickling, so... Yeah. I would wake up from that very, very easily. Her fingers tickle me. Hitting weak spots, precisely. Hey, if you don't wake up soon, I'll tickle you more like this. No! Okay. Understood. I'll wake up. I'm waking up. Uh, uh, uh. Are you awake now? Uh, yeah. Thanks. She tickled me for three minutes. Oh my god, that's like three minutes in hell. Like, honestly, the, the, the longer you tickle a person that's really ticklish, the worse it gets. Like, it becomes so bad to a point where it just like, kill me now, for me at least. But then again, I'm quite ticklish. I'm not sure how ticklish, if I'm like, average ticklish or like, above average or whatnot, seeing as I've never really compared it to other people. But, yeah, for me personally, it's always like, oh my god, make it stop immediately, right now. Because of that, I'm breathing unsteadily, but my consciousness is much clearer than before. With my head clear, I carefully look around once again. Sheets so rough, they hurt my butt, old western furniture, and a blonde girl in a nun's habit. Nothing's changed at all. Now, I'll have to introduce myself. I'm Rosary Winslet, and I'm a nerd, uh, nun of this church. Wow. So this is uh, the little sister of Kate Winslet, huh? I thought this was a church. Turns out, I was right. From her clothes and name, Rosary, it makes sense. The Winslet part though, a little bit different. But, hey, Rosary, why am I sleeping in this musty old church? Musty old? Well, that's not totally wrong, but, but I want things cleared up. I was reading a book at home and fell asleep. How did I wake up in a church like this? I don't know. When I was out on a walk at night, I saw you passed out, so I just brought you here. Passed out? Where did you find me? On the streets of the slums? You were sleeping like a log there. I was so worried about you. The slums? Why was I there? After the war, not everybody earned their peace or happiness. The slums are where people who have lost their homes or family gathered. I don't know why, but... If you were left out there, you might have lost a chance to see another day. Hmm... Rosary's right. If I was left lying in the slums, I might have been killed, no doubt about that. Everybody does their best to stay alive in the slums. It's like a battle. Survival of the fittest. Their own lives come first, even if it'll cost others theirs. I've learned this from books. I've never been to the slums, ever. I was asleep so carelessly in the slums, I can't believe it. With so many unbelievable things happening, I lose control in spite of myself. Calm down. Well, first of all, may I ask you who you are? I am Tadayoshi Kurokawa. That's a difficult name once again. It's like the first time you pronounce these names, at least for me, it's the most difficult and afterwards you get kind of get used to it. Tadayoshi Kurokawa. There we go. Likely successor of Kurokawa Saibatsu. Zaibatsu. Toro, uh, Tadayoshi Kurokawa? You? Seriously? Rosary's big eyes open wider and she stares at me as if she's seeing a ghost. Huh? Why should I make something like that up? But, but, Tarayoshi Kurakawa. Am I a celebrity or something? After those words, Rosary rushes out of the room. Huh? Did I say something wrong? And she runs back into the room. Look at this! A newspaper? Z Rosary hands me a newspaper, a concerned look on her face. Tarayoshi Kurokawa, 
scion of Kurokawa Saibatsu, dies of a heart attack? Unlike small obituaries, it's a major article telling how serious the situation is. Kurokawa Saibatsu is that influential over the public? Huh. Hey, Rosary, what kind of joke is this? Do you really think it's a joke? Rosary didn't know that I'm uh, Tadayoshi Kurokawa until I told her. And I can't think of a good reason for her to pull a nasty prank like this. As it says in that newspaper, the day before yesterday, Tadayoshi Kurokawa passed away from a heart attack. And today, his funeral will be held at the Kurokawa mansion. Huh? I'm dead? And my funeral is today? I don't get it. Anyway, I've got to get back to my mansion. I didn't know I was dead, but nobody, nobody would believe such a ridiculous story. There's no point in staying here. I have to return to my mansion and see the truth for myself. To your mansion? Do you even know the way to the Kurokawa mansion from here? Hmm, that's true. I've never been to the slums, and I rarely go out of the mansion in the first place, just staying in to read books. Then, Rosary, prepare a car as soon as you can. Okay, I don't think she's your butler. <laughs> He's used to that kind of lifestyle. Huh? I don't think I can get you a car. What? Cars are everywhere. There are plenty around. Uh, as you said before, this place is an old, rusty church in the slums. You know that, right? Cars are too expensive for poor people like us, so there's not a chance for we, would find, uh, we would have one. Telephones then! Make a call to the Kurokawa family to bring someone here! Unlike string phones that children use as toys, telephones aren't a thing people use uh, in the slums can easily have. And even if we had one, do you think the Kurokawa family occupied with your funeral will speak with you? Then, so, what should I do? I had a life in which I could get whatever I want. Uh, wanted. Cars were everywhere. Each room had a telephone. That's all he wanted apparently. Well-tailored clothes, lots of books. None of that exists here. Hmm. Rosary scans me from head to toe thinking about something. Since it never even occurred to you to walk home from here, you're definitely a son of a noble family. Your clothes look nice and expensive. And your eyes don't look like you're lying. Heh, <laughs> so you believe that I am Tadayoshi Kurokawa? If you call yourself Tadayoshi Kurokawa, then you're him. Thanks, Rosary. Now tell me how to get to my mansion. If walking is the only option, I'll take it. Tell me how? Are you really going there by yourself? Yeah? Things won't change if I stay here. And I have to return to the mansion and see what's going on. Rosary is not my servant or anything. It's not her responsibility to, to take care of me. So I can't rely on her that easily. Hey! If a rich looking boy like you goes walking on in the streets, it'll be like you're asking to get jumped. But I can't just stay here. Tell me, quickly. Hmm, how arrogant. Are all the Kurokawas like that? Okay, I'll take you to the Kurokawa mansion. R really? Yes. If I leave you to your own devices, you'll really be going out alone and... It's some kind of fate that I found you in the slums, so I'll stay with you to the end. Also, I'm a nun, so it's my rightful duty to help troubled souls. A rightful duty to help troubled souls. Hmm. Servants in the mansions had a duty to take care of me, but that's because I'm Tadayoshi Kurokawa. <laughs> Is it me or did they try to make it have his name be there as mu uh, many times as possible. I feel like throughout the entire video I've said his name like 20 times right now. Tadayoshi Kurokawa. Helping without an uh, ulterior motive. I've never seen something like that. Well, 
I guess though that's what churches uh, or nuns are like at least. If we leave the church now, we should arrive at the mansion before noon. Okay, now, please. Still sitting on the bed, I swing my legs over. What are you doing? Huh? I wanted to put my shoes on. Uh, I could start by teaching you to put on your shoes. Rosary looks a little astonished, but she also looks happy somehow. Sorry, I'll put on the shoes myself. Oh? I was sure you'd complain about that. It's surprisingly straightforward of you to apologize. I'm honest, you know. I always have been. Hmm, this should go here and... This is the first time I've put on shoes on my own. Dang, this guy is so spoiled. Holy crap. Like when I was four or five, I don't know when, but like the first grade or somewhere in kindergarten, you're taught to, to at least I was taught to tie my shoes myself. And you would, you would actually get some sort of diploma if you managed to tie your shoes on your own. And if you didn't, didn't get it, you would kind of be shamed in front of the class because I remember I was actually, I think I was one of the later ones in the class. But I remember specifically there was one person that was didn't get their um, lace tying diploma, I guess. I don't know what, what else to call it. But there was that one guy and he didn't even get it after the second grade of, uh, of kindergarten or whatever. Like the first two grades of uh, in school, you know what I mean, right? Yeah. Felt bad to be that guy. I was one of the later ones, so I was still a little bit embarrassed. Like, oh no, I can't tie my shoes yet. So I would always... I was always wear shoes that had like the, the what's it called I know there's a specific name for it but I can't really think of it but it has like the sticky parts you know instead of laces where you just stick it on and it, it attaches itself to the what is it called velcro that's what it was freaking called velcro shoes yeah I was one of those kids until I was able to tie my shoes but even then I was like yeah I can do it but I prefer velcro so but yeah, it's clear this guy has been kind of spoiled and living the good life for a long time. I tried to mimic what my servants always did to me. Oh, shoes are so easy to wear. How come I haven't done such a simple task by myself? It feels quite good, doing something that I haven't even tried before. What a discovery! <laughs> well done, good boy! Pat Pat <laughs> Rosary smiles and pats my head. Hey, don't treat me like a child. Well, considering he's achieving things that a child actually achieves as well, and he's achieving it somewhere really really late, making it not really an achievement anymore, but actually just ha him catching up to a five-year-old, I guess. I complain, but I don't feel so bad for being treated like that. Actually, it feels good. Come to think of it, I've never had anyone pat my head before. <laughs> I've experienced many things in a very short time. Things that I've never had before. It feels like my world is growing and expanding. Now is a good time to go. Yeah, show me the way, Rosary. Try to keep up with me, Tadayoshi-kun. I don't know when it happened. But she started calling me Tadayoshi-kun. It appears she's respecting me a bit more. I'm pleased about that. But there's no time to be delighted. I, Tadayoshi Kurokawa, died ha or have died of a heart attack. And my funeral is being held. I must get to the bottom of this ridiculous situation as fast as I can. Alright, so after that sort of introductionary scene, we're gonna end this particular video here. So yeah, I want to thank you guys so very much for watching. Please like and subscribe for more. And I hope to see you in the next video. This game is pretty interesting so far. I'm intrigued, so I hope to see you guys in the next video as well. Peace!